Hey, welcome to Picture Line. Today we have some really exciting news to kind of cover and go over, and that is the Fuji X-H2. And with that, we have Lewis, who is the, the West Coast product specialist. He's the, he's the man when it comes to uh, all of that great information that we're going to get from this. So, uh, Lewis, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm glad to be with you folks. Uh, anytime I get to spend some time with picture line staff, I'm, I'm always happy. With this new camera, why don't you give us uh, just a quick, maybe a, a, an update. What's, uh, what's going on with this new camera? So from this new camera, as back in May, end of May, we did launch the new uh, X-H2S. And we did uh, line that up for high-end video and because that is a 26 megapixel. Um, also, we'll do 40 frames per second. And because of the S, uh, you can look at it as speed, stack sensor, any way you look at it, that's the moniker on that camera. It's yeah. fast. Um, the H2 is lined with high resolution. So this is a 40 megapixel. Same CPU processor, but now you get a 40 megapixel. Uh, so anybody wants high resolution, both for landscape, portraits, commercial work, um, with a lot of detail, that's their camera. Um, so that's why we have two lineups. Used in the same body, everything's identical except for the sensor. Difference is with the new sensor, the 40 megapixel BSI, it, it will also will do 8K video. When you say the uh, the H2 is or H2S is a is speed, this camera is really fast. Oh yes, it's not a slack. You know, it's it's the <laughs> newest technology that it is really fast, uh, faster than our other cameras. And um, the nice thing is they both share. Uh, the 5.7 million dots of resolution on the eyepiece. Uh, the same grip, uh, same available external grips that we offer both the additional two batteries and then also the file transfer. That will be available um, also um, as this camera comes out that it uh, has ethernet for IP transfer for high speed. And uh, also has oh, USB-C. Cool. If you have a 5G phone, you could transfer those images very quickly. Picking up the camera, I love the feel. I, I played with the H2S, and I really like that camera. I like the feel of it. It's a good size. It's solid. The, the H series is Fuji's top-of-the-line camera. Is that, that is considered our flagship. As we introduced a few years back, the H, that was also our flagship. And difference is we do have a thicker magnesium alloy body, and the okay. lens mount is more robust for the bigger, heavier lenses. Uh, nice. If you remember H1 and the MK lenses were released, announced that same time, so it was able to hold those bigger lenses. And then when we announced a new 200-20 uh, bigger lens, so it was really matched to able to hold, uh, withstand that weight, uh, especially if you're shooting all day, both sports, uh, any activity, things like that. So it is our flagship camera. And then our other XCTs, think of the T as your tactile. You have all your controls, your buttons on the top, and that's your tactile version. So H is your hybrid, huh. and T is your tactile. So yeah, that's nice. separating. We don't want people to be worried that we're going to this design, because this design's coming from our GFX 100S, 50S2, if you notice the upper deck. I was going to say, it kind of has that, uh, that GFX feel with the new cameras, and I'm surprised how how you can fit a, a large GFX sensor in a small camera that, you know, this is still a, a quite a small camera, but the GFX is also a small camera, you know? Very They're... compact for a medium format for the GFX. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This one, it's uh, it's the almost similar design as H1, but the way they managed to, to make it work with the battery, um, actually under the grip, uh, gives you a little bit more room. And then the display is very similar to our GFX, so you do have a backlight for that. I know it's a it's a small detail, but it's that battery. Great battery for the XT4, the H2, H2S, GFX. I, I think that's great that they're all <laughs> they're all similar battery. That makes it nice. Yes, and it's as the S model. You do have every port identical, uh, including the HDMI full HDMI port. Yeah, I noticed that here. 
I mean, it, it, it's a full HDMI port. That's great. That brings me to the, uh, the video on this camera. Let's talk about that for a little bit. So the video in here, we also have 4K 60p. We also have 8K 30p. Um, it's, it's just fantastic video. We've done some testing with our creators at 8K 30p um, without a fan. We never saw it to overheat. And that's the nice is the components accessory that's from the H2S will fit on the same camera. So if you're shooting ambient temperature 95 degrees and higher, uh, for $200, you can have this fan that allows you to keep your your camera a little bit cooler, but uh, it's been doing very well without the fan. Yeah, I noticed it had the, the two little brackets on the back so that you can you can bolt that fan on there. You know, as I've been playing with it a little, the autofocusing is awesome. It's really good. It's super sticky with the tracking on eye and things like that. Tell us a little bit about the autofocusing system on it. So the autofocus is has also your subject detect. So you do have your birds, planes, also trains, motorcycles, and bikes, uh, including animals. So it has all those subjects that we have on the S also on this camera. Uh, definitely huge difference from our predecessor um, system, other cameras. So it's really quick and yeah. actually holds on. So if you're doing stills in motion continuous, or you're doing video continuous, it will lock onto your subject and it does a very good job. So, I mean, Fuji is, is an innovative company. They have the Pixel Shift. Uh, tell us a little bit about Pixel Shift. So Pixel, Pixel Shift we introduced back with the GFX 100 and then it went along with the GFX 100 S and the 50 S II. Uh, so we actually brought that technology into uh, the new H2. Uh, so instead of uh, taking uh, 16 images, 16 raw individual images, it does do up to 20 just to correct itself and do any any other adjustments and just to perfect the alignment. Uh, mm -hmm. And then same software that we have on our website to combine the combiner. You okay. can use the same software to bring them together uh, from the card, or you can also tether directly and it will combine them as you're shooting. It's such a well-rounded camera. Uh, what would you say, who do you say this is targeted to as far as a, a, a camera? It, it definitely is a professional camera all around. It's a, it's a one and done. Portrait photographers, wedding photographers, documentary photographers, commercial, landscape, uh, and filmmakers. It's a very rounded camera for it will do pretty much capture both segments, your filmmakers, and your stills in one camera. Um, and that way you don't have to carry a second camera just that is dedicated just for filming when you're doing your stills, you could use the same camera. Uh, yeah. So it's very a very good camera for to cover all your genre. This is a 40 megapixel camera with awesome resolution, fully featured, weather sealed. Uh, this is a professional tool for $2,000. That is a great deal. What Fujifilm does is they will put the latest technology they can in the processor sensor. So it gives us a lot of potential if there is anything that would get update or add new features of, uh, by doing firmware. Um, that gives us the ability to advance or expand the camera itself. And that's uh, something that we've been doing for some time. Hey, thanks, Lewis, so much for being with us. Uh, I appreciate you taking some time and, uh, and explaining the camera. and and we look forward to seeing more of this and, and, and all of that. Oh, you bet, Dave. Thank you for having me. Okay, thank you.